Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're discussing an issue that I've seen a lot of people experiencing when they're trying to use the new NVENC encoder on the 2000 series graphics cards from NVIDIA. Uh, this is an issue I myself started dealing with and I looked all over the internet and while people love to get advice, nothing I tried actually worked until I finally did one thing and it fixed all my trouble. So that's what today's video is about as well as uh, showing you guys the best settings that I found uh, for the best quality out of the NVENC new encoders. All right, let's roll the intro and then jump into today's video. Welcome back to the channel, friends. If you find this video useful today, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, helps me get this content out to other streamers and creators uh, to help them if they're having the same issue with the new NVENC encoder uh, overloading OBS Studio. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that by hitting the red subscribe button below and ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos like this one, which I give you guys stream help, uh, you know, all kinds of different tutorials, tricks, tips, things like that. So if you enjoy that type of content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Also, I myself do live stream on Twitch. Uh, if you want to check out my live stream, uh, the link, as always, will be down in the description below. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So the issue for me came when I built my new streaming PC. Uh, I, on my previous stream in PC, I was using my CPU to encode my live streams. Uh, however, with my new PC, I ended up getting a 2080 Super, and the new 2000 series cards from NVIDIA uh, have updated their NVENC encoder, and they now have a uh, encoding chip built into them that is far superior uh, than your CPU. Uh, for example, let me open up the settings here on OBS real quick and go over here to stream in and if we were to switch to the x24 you can see by default it's on very fast well if you're using the nvenc encoder they claim that you actually get the same quality as if you were running this cpu preset uh, on fast or better uh, which means you get up two steps from the default uh, by of using your cpu if you're using the new nvenc encoders but again, the problem was once I started using that, I kept seeing the message encoding overload uh, pop up in my sh in the bottom left corner of my thing, uh, of my software, of OBS. And I scoured the internet and there's all kinds of people uh, in the settings telling you settings to change, which we will go over the best settings I found. But people said, well, go from max quality, you know, the default is quality. They're like, go to max quality, go down to, you know, performance or max performance. And I'm like, but I want the best quality stream. They're like, change your profile from high to main. I'm like, but I want the best, you know, stream, look and stream. They're like, turn off look ahead or psycho visual tuning because that's going to allow it to use less of your GPU, which is going to allow your game. Or they say things like, oh, turn on VSync and limit the frames that your games are running at. And I'm like, but I don't want that. I want to squeeze out the most performance I can get out of my graphics card. However, I want OBS to be prioritized. Well, on the CPU settings, under the advanced tab, there's a process priority. And before, if you were having problems, you could change this from normal to above normal or high, and your computer would process OBS for your CPU over anything else that you were running. However, this does not work for the graphics card, only for the CPU, at least from my experience. So it's actually a really easy fix. All you need to do to prioritize OBS Studio over everything else is run OBS Studio in administration mode. It is literally built in. NVIDIA worked with uh, OBS Studio, the developers over there, to add that if you run it in uh, as an administrator, OBS Studio, then you won't have any issues. Now, if you're like me, you don't wanna to have to right click on it every time and click on run as administrator. Instead, you just wanna double click it and when it opens up, it runs in administration. Uh, so the way to do that is just to right click on it, go to properties, then you're gonna click the compatibility tab. And right here, you have a box that you can check that says run this program as an administrator. Uh, if you want to do that just on your username, you can click that box. However, I do it for the settings across the board. So to do that, you just click this change settings for all users. 
which will open up the box and then you can click it here and save it. And then no matter what username you may be on on your computer, OBS Studio is always gonna run in administration mode. Now with that said, let's go ahead through the best settings if you want the absolute best quality as well out of your uh, graphics card for your live stream. Now, if you're running a lower 2000 series card, for example, like I said, I'm running the 2080 Super. So if you're running something like the 2060 or the 2070, you know, this may really limit your uh, FPS inside games because having everything maxed out for your stream definitely is gonna take away frames in game. However, if you have frames to spare and you don't care about that, or if you're like me and you'd rather have your stream get the best quality and you suffer a little bit of performance, but to still you know, give the, the best to your viewers, uh, then these are the settings you're gonna wanna use. Uh, if not, then obviously you're gonna need to lower some things, which I will point out to you guys uh, what settings are gonna require more out of your GPU. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do under your streaming tab is for your encoder, you wanna make sure you're using the NVENC H.264 new. If you have an option, of H of the NVENC and then the NVENC new, make sure you choose NVENC new uh, because that is the newest encoder on the 2000 series chips. X264, of course, is your CPU. Once you have that, you have the box and four stream and server encoder settings. Uh, you can go ahead and leave this checked. It's checked by default. All this does is that if you mess something up in the settings, uh, it'll automatically change it to whatever the streaming service that you're streaming to requires. Uh, for example, let's say you set your keyframe interval uh, to four. Most streaming services require it to be at two. Uh, so by having this checked, it'll automatically fix that. Rate control, you wanna use a constant bit rate. That's the best uh, recommendation from NVIDIA directly. Uh, your bit rate depends on where you're streaming to and your resolution. If you're streaming to Twitch, the max resolution you can do right now is 1080p at 60 frames per second, and the max bit rate you can send to Twitch is 6,000. Uh, if you're streaming to a service like uh, YouTube, they allow up to a 4K resolution and bit rates, I believe, up to like 30,000 uh, kilobytes per second. Uh, so again, you'll want to check whatever streaming service you are using, but for most people, Twitch, you're going to be streaming at 1080p, 60 frames per second, 6,000 kilobytes per second. If you're streaming at a less resolution or something like that, your bit rate will match, again, whatever streaming service uh, you're streaming to and what their recommendations are. But this is for the best quality, I guess you would say, on Twitch, because again, you can go higher on YouTube. Uh, however, you want to match, you know, whatever you're streaming on. So for Twitch, 1080p, 60 frames per second, 6,000 kilobytes per second. Keyframe interval, you can leave this at zero, which is auto, or you can switch it to two because that's what most streaming services right now require is a setting of two. So I change it to two. The preset, as I said, by default, it comes as quality. Uh, if you don't want to sacrifice your FPS in game, I would suggest leaving this at quality. However, if you want the absolute max quality that you can get, and again, I know I keep saying it, but a reminder, it will impact your FPS in games, you can switch that to max quality. Profile is recommended to leave at high by NVIDIA no matter which preset you're using. So again, I don't know why people recommend turning this down to main. Uh, you know, if you're having issues, because again, the issue is just running OBS in administration mode. Look ahead and uh, psycho visual tuning. Both of these require CUDA cores from your uh, GPU, which means they require more than just the normal encoder that's built into the graphics cards, which means that you are again going to take a hit in terms of FPS on your uh, live stream if you have these checked. However, they do give you better quality if you're willing to take that performance hit. For your GPU, this can be set to zero. This is for if you have multiple GPUs in your uh, system. So for example, maybe you have two GPUs, you're using one for encoding uh, and one for actually playing games. You can select which GPU you wanna use. For most people, this will be set to zero. For the max B frames, if you have look ahead checked, you wanna have this set to four. 
if you have look ahead unchecked, you wanna have this set to two. And then the last things you wanna do is I still recommend setting the process priority from normal to above normal, just because even though it doesn't do anything for the GPU side of things, it does still give your CPU priority in terms of OBS to make sure everything's running smoothly, which I highly recommend. Last things last, if you're streaming at, let's say your base canvas resolution is 1080p, or maybe you have 1440p, uh, and then you're downscaling, you're outputting at a different resolution. Uh, if you're doing 1080p and you're you know, outputting at 1080p, this doesn't matter. This only matters if, again, you're actually rescaling your content to a lower uh, resolution than what your base canvas, your normal display setting is. Uh, if you do, you want to have this set, your downscale filter, all the way to the best one, which is, uh, I can't pronounce this, Langs Cross. Uh, sharp and scale on 36 samples. Uh, again, NVIDIA directly says that, that having it cranked all the way to the max requires very little uh, performance increase or, or taxing of your system, and that that's the best setting to use, no questions about it. And your FPS value, again, will be determined by you. But for the absolute best settings, again, at least for Twitch, we're doing 1080p, 60 frames per, per second. All right, and that's it, guys. That will solve all of your issues when it comes to getting that stupid message in the bottom left corner of your OBS studio that says encoder overload, uh, and it'll fix it all. Again, this will use more of your GPU. Uh, you will take a little bit of an FPS hit in games. I would say maybe about a 10% performance hit from my testing. Uh, so again, that's you know great for me. Doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, and last things last, again, you know, I'm sure people will argue down in the comments or below, but this all comes actually directly from NVIDIA. They have a full tutorial. You can see the link here, and I will link it down in the description below. It'll be the first link down there uh, under the link section. But they actually have a complete guide for using their NVENC and exactly what you need to do, including the bit rates, upload speeds they recommend, resolutions, frame rates, all of that. Uh, as well as all of the actual recommended settings that I just walked you through in this video, as well as with explanations, um, again, as I gave you guys in the video, but so that you can have it kind of in a actual written form if you need that. So again, I will link that down below. That's it. That Once I changed that, uh, once I did it as run in administration mode, I've not had an issue uh, again ever since. Uh, and for me, even in the beginning, it was only happening in a couple games. So I would say it probably mainly happens when you're dealing with games that are not optimized very well. Uh, but once I did that, that fixed all the issues for me. Have not had any issues since. With that said, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Helps me get these tutorials out to other people and help them, other streamers. And I appreciate it very, very much very much. And once again, if you enjoy videos like this one related to live streaming, tips, tutorials, OBS, gaming, things like that, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below and ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. As always, thanks so much for watching. Love your faces. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.